My name is Sarah and I work with the uh, Wolves and Bison here at the Detroit Zoo and uh, we'll take you through kind of what I do in a day. So first I'll come over to the log cabin here where the wolves live and we'll get their diet ready. We have two wolves. We have Casca. He's going to be 14 this year and Renner will be eight this year. And they are on a predominantly beef diet, but it has all the added vitamins and minerals to it to make it a complete diet. They are very sensitive to changes in their routine. So whenever there's people with me, they kind of get a little apprehensive and cautious and they definitely want to know what's going on before they come down to eat. After that, uh, we'll head over to the bison habitat and we have um, four bison over there. We have two adults that are going to be 17, Titanka and Dakota, and then two younger females that came here last year and their names are Juniper and Willow. And the first thing that we do over here is we have their green prepped from the day before and we'll start to bring them in the holding yard. And um, once they're in and eating, then we'll go out and we pick up the yard and uh, sweep up the hay and give them fresh hay for the day. And they'll get as much hay as they will want to eat. So we'll always add more if they need it. And then once that's all done, we'll make sure that we are doing some kind of enrichment in the yard. So we'll put, um, you know, browse out sometimes. So today we'll put the willow in these hanging toys and that kind of helps them manipulate. Either they'll have food in it or it's just something for them to kind of play with. So bison have really, really strong senses of smell. So another type of enrichment we can do is put different smells out in the yard. And they also have pretty long tongues that are very, very sandpapery. Both male and female bison, they do have horns. Males can get, you know, like 2,000 pounds and they generally will get like a really big like beard and they have that hump is, um, it's not fat like a camel, it's actually all muscle because their head will weigh anywhere from 50 to 70 pounds. And if they're kind of, you know, in an environment where there's a lot of snow, they'll use that head like a snow plow to like clear the snow to find the food, under, like the graze underneath. So that is all muscle there. None of that, none of that's fat. We're, right now we are weighing them every week um, and they are trained to get on the scale and they'll get a reinforcement for that and they love it so much so they'll just sit on the scale for a really long time. With the younger girls it's been like a whole new opportunity to really do more training. Um, younger animals are generally more open and comfortable to like new experiences, they're not so set in their ways so it's been a really fun opportunity to watch them. So thanks for following me around today and I hope you got to see a little bit more behind the scenes here at the zoo and learn a bit more about the bison. The best time of year to see them is fall and winter. That's their absolute favorite. Um, they don't particularly love really, really high heat and that's usually when they're gonna be kind of looking for a shady spot or the sand bed or a wallow. So they're a great animal to come see in the off season. And I hope you come visit us soon.